Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TNN Raw and Uncut, where you get nothing but news delivered to you with no filter and no script by none other than Tommy Sotomayor. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to TNN News Raw. I'm your host, Mr. Tommy Sotomayor. This story was sent to me by Miss Lana. Mm. She sent me this story and I felt like I must do this story before I leave. And this story was one that made me kind of laugh at first. But then after I thought about it, I felt uneasy. So I really, really want to get you guys opinion of it. And it's a story I've never heard before. It's a story of a couple in Cleveland who decided that after adopting a baby at six months old, that they would return that baby back to the state. Problem is, when they decided to return the baby back to the state, the child was nine years old. A county couple who adopted a baby nine years ago is now accused of trying to give the child back. Cleveland and Lisa Cox, they face charges of abandonment after they left their son at the Butler County Children's Services facility. Children that are adopted do not come with return to sender stamped on their forehead. There's no difference between an adoptive parent and a natural parent when the adoption is final. That's it. The boy had been with the Liberty Township couple since he was three months old. They're expected back in court later this month. Six. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to retract the statement. I said that they adopted the baby at six months and I was wrong. They actually adopted the baby at three months. Yep. Mrs. Cleveland, I'm mean, excuse me, Mr. Cleveland Cox and Mrs. Cleveland Lisa Cox. Cleveland was 49 and Lisa is 52. There we go again with the men dating older women, that crap. Well, they have two children of their own and I need to tell the story. And they lived in the Liberty Township in Ohio. Now we got a Negro named Cleveland living in Ohio. He probably slow like the Cleveland on the damn show too. I wonder why her name is not Florida. Anyway, here's what you have. You have a situation to where the police decided to, they, they just dropped the baby off. So the police came to try and talk to the people. And I'm assuming what happened when the police came up to try to find out what was going on and they rang the doorbell. This is what they heard when they rang the doorbell. You Okay, so I was wrong for that. Let me try to tell the rest of them be straight laced then. Here we go. Look, those people had two kids, and this is why I said I kind of feel some kind of way about it. First, it was just funny, and it is a little bit funny that you take a child and try to return that song, bitch, like you just got it from, from Walmart or something. You're just going to take it back because you got it on Black Friday, and it didn't work. First, it was just funny, but now I'm starting to understand a little bit. Let me, let me, let me explain. And there's more to this story. And I want you guys to go there and read it. But there's a whole lot more to this story. Miss Cox said that the child had outbursts, had reported the child back to the state, had the child had been through psychiatric evaluation. She tried everything she could to get the child in, in, in a good place and didn't work. You also have to understand that they have two other children. See, here's what they would risk. This is why I don't know about adopting kids like I, I, I want to do it, but I'm scared. See, those kids are predisposed to whatever their parents had genetically. You bring them in with your kids. I've seen too many adopted kids go ahead and go on a rampage and kill everybody in the house. This woman and this man had two children that, that were biologically theirs that weren't acting up. In the process of having those two kids, they had another child that was acting up. Also, this child threatened. This is from what has been has been reported and it's not even reported from the family. It's reported from the state where it's been written down. So they complained about this, that the boy said he would kill the whole family on multiple occasions. 
So here's where I'm at with this. This is why I'm not calling this woman out her name because I can't call the woman out her name. She sounded like she was trying to protect her family. Now, I don't know how this went where they told him, hold on, we about to take you somewhere, put him out for a second, say, hold on, we're going to go to the car, we'll be right back, and drove off. I don't know how this went down, but it sounds like they tried to protect their own children because not only did they drop this boy off, they ain't came back home. They left. These people sound like they were legitimately afraid of that boy. And when the state wouldn't step in, what do you do? Now, here's the second half. What that guy said was true. You can't sit there and just adopt kids like your regular kids and then just drop them off. But then actually people do drop their regular kids off. They make them wards of the state. And I don't understand how you can't tell a woman she can't just drop a kid off when she can just drop one in the toilet and, and kill it when, you know, it's three months old. Yes, she can do that. See, the state picks and chooses when it gets upset with you. Well, see, now they're putting a warrant out for this woman and her family and her husband for reckless abandonment. I don't understand that, though. She gave it back to the state who she tried to help a family. And I get that she shouldn't be able to turn them back in. But what should she have done? She has a husband, herself and two children to take care of who live in her house. And the state had not tried to help her. This woman stuck in longer than a lot of people would have. She kept trying to get help for this child. And nothing happened. The state wouldn't help. And I want you to know how serious this is. This woman lived in a nice house, not a small house, not a, a, a punk house. This woman and this man lived in, a, in a, an immaculate house. I mean, just just the house was thrown. I'm looking at it right now. You guys can go to the... Um, you guys need to go to the um, the link to the story and go read more about the story. Go to the link, click on it, read the story. Look at the house that they left. These people left this house because they were deathly afraid, afraid of something. They might have had little the, 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 the little Damon, Damien, demon child. That might have been what they had. And they refused to put themselves at risk to the point of where they ran away from their home. I want you guys to go read this story and see. I'm not making this up. This is crazy. Which side do you fall on? Do you fall on the state side who said no matter what, you stick it out because you asked for this child? Or do you stand on their side, which is we have two other children and ourselves to look after. And we honestly believe this child is going to kill us. And because it's a child, it ain't going to do no time. Because it's a child, they're going to say it's too young to commit murder. So nothing's going to be done and the state won't help us. So I'm out. I'm falling, leaning towards I'm with the family. But you guys tell me, read the story if, if you want more information to come back and answer. Or just go by what I said here. I'm with the family. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I'm Tommy Sotomayor. This is TNN News. Raw. Fucking believable. 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 Fucking believable.